that is a great find. That's worth the hunt right there. You see it right there? Yeah, I can see one cent right there where it's coming down. It's an Indian. That's a good find. This in here sounded good. It's got two holes in it. I don't know if they've made a whizzer out of that. couple of solo hunts in today's video. I've got a spot or two along the Cumberland River where I've found, I don't know, probably five or six colonial house sites over the past three or four years. And I've got uh, another site uh, that's kind of cross-culture, a little bit of colonial, not much, but uh, early 1900s site. So let's get to it. There's the hole right there. And I've got something I have never seen anything like it. This is solid brass. It's some kind of necklace or pendant. I'm not sure on the age of that. But that is a great find. That's worth the hunt right there, whatever it is. It's just a small piece but it is another harmonica reed. Yes, it is. I'll count it. I've got just a piece of a suspender clip here. You can see the scallop there on the top. And then there are the uh, points. This piece is obviously broke. But it was a suspender clip. And... Uh, I will count it <laughs> in the total for the year. I'll check around and see if I can find the rest of it. When you're looking for an old house site, a couple of things that you want to look at. These uh, Easter flowers for one, is what we call them. And then there's a large tree right there. I'm trying to get out of the wind. I don't know what that is but it appears to be some money in the hole right there. I'm guessing probably wheat. That's what it is. Wheat scent. I'll get a date on it and put it on this clip. That's a good start. First piece of money here try and get out of the wind if I can. That hole is probably almost eight inches deep. And this is right in the bottom and just a little squeaker. It's concave on the back here and uh, the uh, shank is broke off of it. But uh, I've been over this spot right here before. But I missed that one. Another flat button. Right out in front of this old tree right here, and I'm trying to uh, shield the wind the best that I can. Don't know that I'm doing a good job. That looks like money to me right there. Let's see what we got here. It's a wheat scent. I think got a lantern top right here out of that hole right there this whole house find it a little bit of stuff uh, found this while ago and I didn't stop and film it but it's a old doorknob metal doorknob it's not brass battling the wind though I tell you I'm really not for sure what this is it's a little heart piece. It's real decorative. It almost looks like it is a 
keyhole cover on a uh, maybe a little jewelry box or something I don't know I don't think it's silver but I'll get it cleaned up and see if it's got any markings on it interesting find there trying to get out of the wind as best I can I got a hole right there I don't know what this is here bring up fairly low but I believe that's going to be a Cohen right there let me see if I can get it cleaned up and uh, get something off of it that may be an Indian rang up real low anyway I'll leave a, some kind of description on this clip good find either way I want to do a shout out to Nick Haas. He's got a relatively new channel, always comments on my channel, and I appreciate that. And you see his channel there on your screen. It's an interesting channel to follow because he has just purchased a new XP Deus. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in that detector, you'll be able to kind of see his progress and uh, see if that's a detector that you might want to purchase yourself. So check him out, Nick Haas. Like, subscribe, and share. Be sure and tell him that seven sent you. Found that flat button right there, center screen. That turned out to be an Indian head right there. And I've just moved right over here. And I have no idea what this is. It is a, uh, it's got a shell pattern on it. I think it's part probably of a button. But I'm not sure. Not sure what that is. And I think that it's pewter. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's brass. I like it though. It's windy as it can be, and I know I'm probably getting wind noise and I can't help it, but I've got on a real hot spot right here. Right in there was, uh, what, the uh, flat button, and then the Indian, and then that shell pattern thing right there. And I've got one in the hole right there. You see it right there? I don't know if it is a coin or whether it's a flat button. Let's get it out and look at it here. It's, I don't think it's a flat button. I think it's a Cohen. Well, let me uh, let me clean this one up and I'll put a description here in this clip. But I think it's a Cohen. Got my pack right there by the daffodils. I'm getting a 1232 out of that hole right there. And that's too big for a nickel. That's either a two center or it's not a flat button. No, oh, it's going. Well, I can't see anything there. It's it's very thin. Let me get it cleaned up and I'll either get back with you or leave a description in the clip here. I have found one of these before. And uh, it is, it's got two holes in it. I don't know if they made a whizzer out of that but it is a uh, it's a five cent or five francs i can't remember but it's got a big five on it and then uh it's early 1900s though uh, i thought it would would be older than that but they've put a hole where the date is but it's still a good find whatever right by my bag here <laughs> These two bronze coins that I found were found on separate house sites that were about a mile apart along the Cumberland River. I found the larger one last year and the smaller one on this hunt here. The larger one is a 10 cent times and the smaller one is a 5 cent times. Both are coins from the Republic of France and they were minted from 1897 
through 1921. The obverse has the liberty head facing right and is engraved Republic Francis or Republic of France and has the engraver's name at the lower part of the bust, Daniel de Pise. The reverse has the words liberty, equality, and fraternity. They're in French, but that's what they mean. The scene depicted on the reverse is Republic protecting her child. The denomination of the Cohen is at the right, and the date is below. The engraver's name is on the left side of the date on the reverse as well. One American Cohen critic said that the U.S. had 50 chances to design great-looking Cohens during the statehood quarter program, but not one of them holds a candle to this French Cohen. I'm chasing a scratchy signal out of this hole right here, and I still don't know what it is. But look what popped up right there. I haven't even touched it. That's a nice point right there. Check that out, would you? That's one of the benefits of hunting in Kentucky is that you find those kind of things. Great find. Now let's see what the signal was. I'm not going to do too much cleaning on this one right here. I've wiped it off some. You can tell that it is a uh, suspender clip. One little tongue right there, a prong is broke off. I knew that they should be one. That's a good find. There's the daffodils right there. I couldn't think of that a while ago. And I'll tell you what, the sun's so bright I can't see. But I've got a flat button right there. Shank is broke off of it. I can't tell if it's got any kind of design on it or not. A little bigger than the other one, though. Another flat button, Mike. This was a good clear signal right here. It's a toe tap. Still got some uh, of the iron nails and brads in it. That generally makes those sound a little nasty, but this in here sounded good. Four or five days, I guess, since I found one of those, but I like them. I ain't found this signal here yet, but. Check this out right here. It just rolled out like that. A little white and purple marble. I don't have it out yet. But it rang up like an Indian. But I don't know that that's what it is. A lot of fertilizer in here. I can't tell. I'll uh, leave a uh, note on this clip right here, a description of what it is. Yeah, I can see one cent right there where it's coming down. It's an Indian. Okay, there's two Indians in out of here. Right up here in the sage grass. And uh, there was a nail mask in this right here. But it is, I see Lincoln right there. It's going to be another wheat. Yes, it is. Another wheat penny. I've got a cuff link. And it's at least gold plated. You can see there. And around the edge of it, it's got kind of a black stone, I think, there in the front. But that's got some gold on it. No doubt. That's a good find.